Harness racing is a way of life. It's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears for our bread and butter. They're in the stretch. Here they come. By flight, by to the inside, chasing in second with 27 and 2. The animals are true athletes. Rachel Ray by 2. By flight, by. I just love the competition. Inside racing. Sometimes we win, sometimes we don't. Very, very exciting. Final 16th ago. Rachel Ray This is way more fun than any business I've ever been in. Here's by flight, by to the outside. By flight, by. It started out on gravel roads. The harness industry began out of guys that used horses to go to work or to go to church or and they're racing home. I believe my horse can beat you and we will get to church before you do. And they would do that. The standard breads is the name of the breed. Bred and trained to be used on the road and to, to be used out in the country or to pull buggies or uh, to work. They're a gated horse bred to trot bred to pace. They're a more durable horse. They're a lightweight horse, but they're a more durable horse. The horses that were really talented, like Dan Patch, would draw thousands and thousands of people just for a horse race. Harness racing for Indiana residents prior to Hoosier Park opening was county fair racing. We were raising and breeding to race at the county fairs. That's all Indiana had. We didn't have an opportunity to race our horses at a very high level. It was just county fair races here for four, five, six, eight hundred, maybe a thousand dollars a start. We were forced to either sell our horses or travel out of state to try and win a purse to pay the bills. The racing economy wasn't that good here. We made a decision to buy a farm in Illinois. No sooner then we got set up over there. They passed the pair mutual bill here and boom, we're racing standard breads at Hoosier Park just a few years later. And we're spending more time with our horses in Indiana now that Hoosier Park is a viable entity. Harness racing in Indiana has grown by leaps and bounds over the last 15 years. We are still racing at county fairs. <laughs> A lot of people race solely at county fairs, but the money is at Hoosier Park. So we went from the old $400 county fair race to uh, we might race for up to $200,000. We're originally from Illinois. We've got a 450 acre farm in southern Illinois. Because Hoosier Park and the state of Indiana uh, make this opportunity available, we have invested in land and residencies and, and things in Indiana. The competition level's really gotten tough and you know what happens when the competition gets tough. You've got to get your A game on and if you don't, you don't survive. I don't think the general public realizes how hard people work to put on two minutes worth of a performance for you. 99% of the time it's work and 1% of the time it's fun and then you're back to work again. Years go into making these horses. Probably spend six months just getting them ready, teaching them how to race. You got to be here every morning to feed. You got to be here every evening to feed. You drive them every day, you train them every day, you clean their stall every day. The shoeing of the horses, the hoof care. You got to bathe them, you got to see after their health and welfare. You get a lot invested into them. 
it's a lot of hours and it takes a lot of help. We've employed a lot of people. We've bought a lot of products, uh, including feed and fencing and trailers and trucks. When you get a horse business that moves into your area, such as this Hornets horse business, capital gains are reinvested in Indiana and close by. All the money we make basically goes back into the economy here, so it's definitely stimulated a lot of jobs and a lot of opportunity for a lot of people. Well, I love it because it's a sport. It's also a business, and if you don't have a little bit of business sense, you're probably not going to make it very long. The weight of earning enough money to pay the bills is right on the shoulder of the trainer and the owner. If they finish one, two, three, four, or five, then you get a check for the week. If they're six, seven, eight, nine, or ten, no paycheck for that week. It's been an up and down ride, but it's been a good ride. We have raised three boys. This has been our job. It's been nice that we could always work together. We spend our days together. My family has been involved in harness racing for four generations now. It was our family way. We went to horse races. We used to have an old station wagon and an old horse van, and we hauled eight or nine horses to the track. We had that green station wagon. We loaded it with our children and sleeping bags, and it was a joy. It's a family business. The people that are involved in the sport are so nice. We are one big harness racing family, we are, and it goes beyond our blood. Hoosier Park has a, a support group upstairs for this industry that is second to none. I've been in the business 25 years, and the most best part of it's the driving as far as I'm concerned. I am a driver. I sit behind the horses and uh, try to win. We get behind a car, build up speed from zero to 35, and then go. To be in the middle of the pack, there's, there's a lot that goes on. I mean, you're paying attention to what's going on in front, to the side of you. You get down the back stretch, if you got plenty of horse, and you're sitting on the rail, fourth or fifth back, and you got horses coming, you better pull, or you're going to get locked in there. When you hit the three-quarter pull, it's it's back on. When you have a shot to win a horse race, you, you feel it. When you win, you, you feel good the rest of the day and the rest of the night, you know. Everybody likes to win. I mean, that's, that's the main thing, isn't it? You want to win is, is what the whole goal is. Whether you win a $2,500 race, a $25,000 race, or a $250,000 race, the elation is just something you can't describe. Well, harness racing allows everybody to participate. Everyone can be part of the game in some aspect. Yes! All right! Woo! Harness racing is its a super sport. I like it. I like the competition and I like the reward. If we don't strive for the best, then we get less than the best.